This is the book of Psalms, chapter 17, verse 3, and it reads, Arise, O Lord Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweshai, Bahashem Rakah HaKwadash. Yahweh, be the name of the Father, who the world evenly calls God, Yahweh, meaning he exists. Bahashem, meaning in the name. Yahawashai, with the world even called Jesus Christ. Yahawashai, meaning he is salvation. Bahashem, meaning in the name. Rakaha Kwadash, Spirit Holy. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach one of the world who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akiam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of the whole eyes through the four corners of the earth. To the Akwathim, listen, listen, learning, sincerity, and the truth and the silence. Shalom. Akiam, meaning brothers. Akwathim, meaning sisters. Shalom, meaning peace be unto you. It's your brother Shema from the GMS Toronto camp here in Toronto. Here with another lesson. All right, we'll get right into it. Because this uh, diabolical madman, <clears throat> this ruling class elite, who is the sword of Yahweh Shema Shai on the left-hand side, he's getting ready. The Lord is putting the spirit on him to 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 be the, to 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 inflict judgment on two thirds of our people. The collateral damage being the other nations, right? Being of his own nation as well, Edomites. But he's getting ready to wield his sword and slaughter Jake, right? And he is the wicked according to Scripture. Let's let's open with that Scripture. Malachi 1, the points of 4. Malachi 1 and 1 says here, Power's love for Jacob, the burden of the word of the Lord Yahweh to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, right, Israelites, saith the Lord Yahweh. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Right, and that's Jake's nature, you know. God don't love me. Why would God do this? Right, but that's 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 two thirds of our people's vain opinion. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Saith the Lord Yahweh. Yet I love Jacob. Right, uh, Isaac and Rebekah had two sons, twins, Jacob and Esau. Right, Genesis twenty-five, around the twentieth verse, three to twenty-five gives the account of that. Right, Genesis twenty-five and twenty-five says the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they named his name Esau. Roughly paraphrasing. Right? It also says further up in the chapter, around the 23rd verse, 22nd verse, two nations are in thy womb. The elder shall serve the younger, roughly paraphrasing. Third verse, and I hated Esau. Right? So the Lord hates the Edomites. Esau being the, the pro, pro, progenitor of, of, of the Edomites. And laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Right? So, you know, Esau, during the Dark Ages, Esau was ba Esau was base, base, base man. Base was, Esau was nameless. He, he was children of fools. They were in the caves, right? And you have accounts of uh, King David putting him in, in the subjection, right? You have the thousand year period where they were in, where, where they were in the Dark Ages, when they were under the, the, the Byzantine Empire, right? The fall of the Western Roman Empire. And they were under the Byzantine Empire, which is the Eastern Roman Empire, who were Jakes, right? They had no language. They were in the caves, right? The beast man, right? And also, uh, the, 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 the Babylon the Great, America the Great, will be, will be a, place, a place of dragons and desert animals via the missiles and the laser beams from the chariots. But there was a time when um, Esau... I want to get Job 30, but I want to go here first. Esau is Edom. Genesis 36 and 8. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. You understand? So we say uh, Edomites 
We're talking about Isa, the so-called white man, these ruling class, these ruling class elites, right? These banking families. Job 30 and 1. It reads, but now they that are younger than I have me in derision. This is Job speaking, right? Esau, Esau is a younger nation. Esau also comes from us, right? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. Right, because Esau is a, a profane individual, man. Job saying here, I don't want them around my, the dogs of my flock. Right, if you know, you know. But Esau's profane. He's vile. Second verse. Yeah, where too might the strength of their hands profit me, in whom old age was perished, for want and famine. Let's read this in the NLT. Right, the base man. Children of fools. Job 30 and 2, a lot of good they are to me, those worn out wretches. They are gaunt with hunger and flee to the deserts, to desolate and gloomy wastelands. They pluck wild greens from among the bushes and eat from the roots of broom trees, right? They were in the caves during the, the, during the, 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 the Dark Ages, under, under the Byzantine Empire, under the Jakes, under the Moors, under the Eastern Roman Empire. They are driven from human society and people shout at them as if they were thieves, right? Everywhere, everywhere they went, right? They had a stigma attached to them. So now they live in frightening ravines, in caves and among the rocks, right? The caves, uh, Mount Petra, uh, later the, the, the Caucasus Mountains. They sound like animals howling among the bushes, right? They had no language. Huddled together beneath the nettles, Right? They are nameless fools, outcasts from society. Right, so this is Esau. This is the state Esau Edom was in when he when he uh, uh when he came out of the caves. Right? Malachi 1 and 4. Wherefore, whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished. Right, let's look at this word impoverished. Right, and this is going into the Renaissance. Right, saying they will, but we will return and build. Let's look at this word impoverished. Strong's H seventy five sixty seven, Rashash, Rashash. And to beat down, shatter. To beat down, shatter. To be beaten down, to de to demolish, impoverish. Right, they came out of them caves, shattered, demolished. Right. Malachi like 104, whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places, right? That's the Renaissance. Building back up, their, their, building back up, uh, defacing the images, their iconoclasm. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, right? Ultimately, the destruction, thermonuclear and continental ballistic missiles, right? Babylon the Great, America the Great, because we're in Rome 2.0. The revised Roman Empire. And they shall call them the border of wickedness, right? They are the wicked according to scripture. Esau, Edom. And the people against whom the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, hath indignation forever, right? So the Lord has righteous anger against the Edomites as a nation forever. Back in Psalm 17 and 13. Arise, O Lord, Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, right, you Edomites, which is thy sword, right, the sword of Yahweh Bishimoshai on the left-hand side, right? And the Lord is, is, put, is about to put the spirit on them, right, to swing this sword and mow through Jake. Isaiah 10 and 5. And how is he going to do that? It's military. They're Gurger troops. They're militias. Right? They're, they're, they're bioweapons. Famine, the food chain, a lot of death is coming. A time like no other is coming. And two thirds of people, lest ye repent, you're going to die. Famine, FEMA camps, ravishing of your woman, 
ravishing ravishing of 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 men by by UN troops and Gurkha troops. This is what's gonna happen, man. Disease and sickness from from un, 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 unsanitary water sources. The grid's gonna be down. Chaos and wild brute mad people out here. Isaiah ten and five. Oh Assyrian. Assyria, spiritual, America is known as spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom, right? Spiritual Assyria, Nineveh. The rod of my anger and the staff in their hand is mine indignation, right? Assyria, Babylon the Great, America the Great. The staff in their hand is the indignation of Yahweh Shino Shai, these, these, these Edomites, these ruling class elites, right? It's the, it's the Lord's anger. I will send him against a hypocritical nation. Let's read this in the NLT. Right, two thirds of our people. Isaiah ten and six, I am sending Assyria against a godless nation. Right, two thirds of our people. The Lord is about to send these Edomites against two thirds of our people, against the people with whom I am angry. Two thirds of our people, Assyria. Right, you Edomites, Babylon the Great, America the Great, will plunder them, trampling them like dearth beneath its feet. Right, two thirds of people are going to be trampled like dearth, like dirt beneath their feet. Right, scriptures say they shall be as madmen, sparing none. Right? Second Ezra 16. Verse 68, and it reads, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. Right, that great multitude being Esau, Edom, these ruling class elites, their militaries, their police, their Gurga troops. Right, the sword of the, the sword of Yahweh on the left-hand side. Right, kindled over who? Jacob. Israel being a people before it's a place. You so-called indigenous, you so-called Latino, you so-called Negro. You, you two-thirds, man. And they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle, feed you being idle. Termic camps, FEMA camps. With things offered unto idols, right? They're going to they see hip a whole shitload of Jake, two-thirds of our people, sitting in these idle detention centers, these FEMA camps, these, these detention centers. And, and, and they that consent unto them, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision. Right, those that consent, right? derision means mockery, laughed at, ridiculed, and in reproach, and trodden underfoot. Two thirds, right, and a lot of two thirds is going to consent. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord Yahweh Bashem Shai. Right, the scriptures say uh, Acts fourteen and uh, twenty two uh, concerning the souls of the disciples. Let me get it before I butcher it. All right, two-thirds, uh, the, 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 the one-third, the elect, they got to go through it, right? But they'll be preserved. Acts 14 and 22. NLT, where they strengthen the believers, they encourage them to continue in the faith. And who are the believers? The one-third, the one-four-four, the elect. Reminding them that we must suffer many hardships to enter the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Shai, right? It's, it's, listen, it's not going to be a cakewalk into the kingdom, right? Jacob's trouble is for two-thirds of our people, as well as these heathen nations. But the elect will be preserved, but they still got to go through it, but they'll be preserved. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, right? These Gurga troops, these UN troops, these militias, they're going to be madmen, sparing none. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall, the, then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire, right? Because they're likely going to be tried as gold in the fire, right? Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, 
Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, right? The days of trouble, a sword's coming. A time like no other, Jacob's trouble. But I will deliver you from the same, right? The elect will be delivered, man. Lord willing, we're of that number, right? Lord will. Right? Because this sword, the sword of the Lord, Yahweh Bishim Oshai, on the left hand side, is about to kill and destroy. It's about to delete a lot of Jake, man. Right? Sirach 40, verse 8. Such things happen unto all flesh. Right? Jacob's trouble is going to happen to all flesh, both man and beast. And that is sevenfold more upon sinners, right? Two thirds of our people. It's going to be sevenfold more upon two thirds of our people. These heathen nations, Esau, Edom, Ishmael, Ham, uh, uh, Ammon, uh, Moab, forget about it. They're going to get it sevenfold upon them. But the sinners of, of Yahweh Shemel Shai's people, the sinners of Yahweh Shemel Shai's people, the, 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 the two thirds, sevenfold more upon sinners, death and bloodshed, strife and sword. Calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood, right? These things are created for the wicked. The time that is coming to this place, a time like no other, right? This sword of the Lord, Yahweh Bishimoshai, on the left hand side, is about to delete world record amounts, new high score in, in Call of Duty. For, for kill streak right so with that call Allah Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Bahashem Raka Kodash double honors to the apostles and elders of great Muslims who teach one rule well Shalom to the whole full elect